Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Jessica Moy. I'm a social media manager here in Toronto. Today is Monday morning. We had a huge snowstorm last night. I am so tired this morning. I start work in like 15 minutes or so. I got my booster shot yesterday. I went to the Shoppers Drug Mart on um, Lower West in Toronto and it was the nicest shoppers Ever. In my last video, I mentioned that I ordered on base travel and I got this stuff. The backpack's put away and I'm too lazy to get it. So nice. I used it this weekend when I spent a few days at my boyfriend's house, but I also got the travel wallet and it's just so nice. It comes with a little pen. And then I also got the lunch bag, which I am so obsessed with. It rolls up, it's magnetic, and it's insulated inside and it's super soft. This could be just like an everyday kind of grab and go bag, but also I guess a lunch bag. Speaking of shopping, I think I'm gonna make another Amazon order today and it's pretty big. <laughs> but for right now, I think I'm gonna make a matcha and just start my morning and then start work on this very snowy Monday. I opened my back door to show you how much snow there is outside, but this lovely pile of snow has crept in. Let me just close that and pretend it never happened. Let's go make some hot beverages to warm us up. I got a frother for Christmas and it excites me to no end. I use it literally every day. Okay, I am now sitting at my desk. It's nine o'clock. I'm about to open my emails and go through my emails for the morning. I have my matcha and it is so good. I put a lot of cinnamon. When I was dumping it out, I dumped way too much. Never a problem. I love cinnamon, so yum. I made just a little bit of like instant oatmeal just for like a quick breakfast. I got this candle, this refresh eucalyptus candle for Secret Santa from my work and I'm going to light it. My camera battery died, so what a way to start a Monday. Um, I don't even know where I left off. My candle's burning right now. This is my desk situation, so I have my monitors. Monday mornings, I have an hour meeting with my team just to talk about the week and what we're working on, so that's from 10 to 11. And then what's really exciting is that from 10.30 to 11.15, we have something called Own Your Anxiety. They have a special guest, Julian Brass, come in and talk about anxiety obviously so i'll take a couple notes and let you know what i learned but that is this morning i have some calendars to get done as well as newsletters my co-worker just sent me this picture of this man outside her house and look at his car sir you're not going anywhere today it is currently noon and i just had my meetings we had the own your anxiety meeting session and basically what i learned in you know that session was everything that i kind of already knew how you know when you have anxiety you should get moving you should you know commit five minutes a day in the morning when you wake up to do you know running on the spot jumping jacks i feel like in the morning it's just so hard for me to move at all it's even just like hard to get out of bed so the fact that you know he recommends jogging and jumping jacks i'm like that's asking a lot sir but he also recommended warm showers which i am down for warm showers massages sleeping well and all that kind of stuff, limiting alcohol, caffeine. He also did this exercise where smiling helps with boosting your mood. If you are like by yourself when you're working and you just want like a little pep to put your pen between your teeth because it gives like a natural smile and then I guess, I don't know, it boosts something in your brain or I don't know the science behind it, but apparently that works. After having so many meetings in a row, I just feel like I get so drained. So I'm gonna refuel back to emails, back to doing my calendars, my newsletters, get the show running, and I will see you when dinner time comes around. It is currently 1.08. I'm feeling just like a little moody and I want something comforting. I decided to start making a soup. I'm melting some butter in a pot and then I have all my ingredients here.
I worked with what I had, which were these noodles, some chicken, broth, corn. Let me give this a taste. It's like a hug for your soul. I couldn't imagine having to commute, like waking up really early and commuting, taking a train and walking in this. Like I am so happy that I work from home and then I don't have to commute. If you had to commute to work and it's snowing like this, I'm so sorry. Like, it's just, it's so crazy outside. I couldn't imagine having to do that. Currently making dinner in my new air fryer, which I love and use all the time. I made some drumsticks and some fries. Did I burn this a little bit? No, I think it's okay. For the marinade, I had like paprika, some like mesquite barbecue. Oh, I'll show you. So this sweet and smoky mesquite seasoning from Farm Boy is so good. I put it on like all of my meats. I also brushed some soy sauce, sesame oil, honey, and garlic. Mm. Sweet potato fries are so superior. So I'm going to eat my dinner and watch some YouTube. I'm really tired today, so I'm gonna head to bed early. I will see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday morning. I have been going through my emails. I just started work. I think I'm gonna have a coffee this morning and not a matcha because it just, it just feels like a coffee day. This morning I made a TikTok about books that I love. This is a work of art. This is a work of art. This is a work of art. I'm so into book talk. I'm trying not to spend like thousands of dollars on books. I did buy one book on Amazon that I found on book talk but anyway I recommended some books so if you want to see the whole entirety of that video I will link it in the description I got the book off of Amazon yesterday so I made a big order on Amazon yesterday I just was like feeling it the book that I got is called the mermaid from Jeju by Sumi Han someone on TikTok talked about it it's very they said it was very poetic and beautiful and I was like oh I need a beautiful poetic book right now. And it's based in Korea, it weaves in Korean history and culture. Some other fun things that I got off of Amazon yesterday. I'll only read you the fun things. Like I got like a Swiffer wet jet, like no. I'm not gonna read you all my like household stuff that I got. I got this toner from Claire's. It's a beauty brand from Korea. And I used to use it when I lived in Korea. I absolutely love it. It's a very thick toner. It's like a toner serum almost, but it smells so good, very herbal. I also got these hair clips, which I thought were so fun. Amazon recommended it to me and I was like, Amazon, you know me, you know me well. I also got a dress. In the middle of like minus 40 degree weather, I decided to get a dress, but again, Amazon recommended it to me and I was like, this dress is so beautiful. And I have weddings coming up in the summer, so I thought, Okay, I'm just gonna get it. It's not coming until March, cause I think it's shipping from overseas, which is fine, cause I'm literally not gonna wear it for the next couple months. And yeah, those were my fun little Amazon purchases yesterday. I think after work today, I'm going to go grocery shopping. Hopefully the roads are okay. Literally the snow piles are taller than me. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I'll take you along with me. So I will see you then. I just got back from Nations. It's funny because I was like, oh, I'll go to Nations because, you know, food is cheaper there. And I went to Metro a couple weeks ago to go grocery shopping and in my what I spend in a week video, which I'll link below, I spent like $71 there and I was like, oh, that's so expensive. I go to Nations and I spend $88. <laughs> the hot food section of an Asian grocery store is so I got some sausage rice, beef rice rolls, dim sum, barbecue pork buns, red bean buns for dessert. I am excited for dinner tonight. I also got Miss Vicks Honey Dijon chips because Mark is coming over this week and we like Miss Vicks. Eggs, peppers, beef stir fry, avocados, milk, bacon, Chinese broccoli, broccoli broccoli, some Perrier because I'm a classy bitch, two things of chicken soup stock because it is soup season, garlic, dumplings. I love 
ramen. I love bulldog. That was $88. Um, I'm gonna put this all the way. As you can see, it's just surrounding me. I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'm just going to chill out. I'm gonna read, do some writing because this month I made it a goal of mine to read every day and also write in my journal every day. So I've been doing that. I keep writing though in my journal, I keep writing that it's June. I don't know where my head's at. It's not in January. <laughs> I feel refreshed. I just took a shower, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and now I'm gonna read some of my book. This is the Game of Thrones series. This is the Feast for Crows. This book is such a drag. The other books were so exciting and so thrilling and the character development, but this one is just like, it better just pick up. I hear that the next book after this one is really good and I should stick it out because it's worth it when you read the next book. So I'm sticking it out reading this right now. I think that is it for the night and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. It is a matcha green tea day. Don't mind the water boiling, that's what that noise is. I got this green tea from Amazon. I really like it, but someone mentioned to get like ceremonial grade for lattes. But this is premium culinary grade. To be honest, I don't know the difference, but apparently there is a difference. I should probably look that up. That's why I went grocery shopping yesterday. A little bit of maple syrup, just to add a bit of sweetness. I did not put enough milk in this. That's okay, it still looks good. Cheers to a productive day. I feel like a lot of just what I filmed this week is me <laughs> cooking, making drinks and working, but that's literally all I do, so. Cheers to that. I put these guys in the air fryer for like four minutes and they browned up. They're like a hard as a rock, <laughs> but these still look so good. Okay, let's taste it. Yum. Let's try the red bean bun. Oh my God. These are so good. I got my noodles and then I also made a side of Chinese broccoli. Oh, my mouth is like watering. Okay, I haven't had this flavor, but they're like regular, like very hot ramen is delicious. It's like super creamy because of the cheese. It came in like a little pack that like you would find in craft dinner. Whoa, that is spicy, but it's so good. My hair is crazy. We're just gonna ignore it. Got a notification from Netflix that uh, season three of Too Hot to Handle is out and I was like, well, that's what I'm doing with my evening. I don't have any updates for you. I really wish I did. I feel like this vlog is just a lot of eating, <laughs> which is something that I just do all the time. My Polaroid wall. That photo has fell. That has actually fallen a couple times today. My Polaroid wall. She's growing. I'm gonna do this same old stuff that I do every night. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna wind down, do the dishes, get ready for bed, and then go to bed. Cause that's the routine. That is the lockdown routine. Locked down routine. The lockdown, locked down routine. I feel like this has been the longest week. How is it only Wednesday? See you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday, Thursday, fr I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Who knows? It's not the weekend, so it must be some weekday. I'm currently making hash browns in my air fryer. I made some eggs and I'm gonna have a nice little breakfast. I never really have like a big breakfast like this, but it just like felt like it, you know? Mark is gonna come over today. We're gonna make some beef and broccoli, which will be good. I have been craving that. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I have goals for every month that I've started this month. I don't remember if I have talked about it, but my January goals um, are tacked here on my TV and it is to not drink alcohol for the month, which is really easy because I barely drink anyway. So no alcohol, to read every day, and to write every day. So that's why I'm reading and writing every night, which has been quite joyful. I don't put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to writing or reading. Like if, if I if I write every day, some days I just want to write one sentence and some days I want to write a page. So it really depends. And then same with reading. Sometimes I want to read three pages. Sometimes I want to read 30. So. Depends on the day, but at least I'm doing it, you know? I think my hash browns are done. That's what they look like. This is my breakfast for the day. So 
let's get started on the work day. Hello and happy Saturday. We are on a stupid walk for our stupid mental health. In negative 20 degree weather, we're on a beach. Isn't it beautiful? We are at Marie Curtis Park just going for a little stroll. So come on a little winter stroll with us. In the car, we just got a coffee and we had a snickerdoodle cookie which tasted like a beaver tail. It was delicious. But last night, we started watching a movie. What was the movie? Edge of War. And it's really good. So we're gonna finish it today because I fell asleep. And with like 45 minutes to go and like the heat of the movie, I fell asleep. But anyway, we're gonna finish that today. Go Bills. Go Bills. I don't know what that means, but go Bills. A man complimented my hat. He's like, go Bills. I was like, who? That too. Last night we went to Costco and we got the chicken tacos. Let's start that again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the chicken tacos. I didn't need the, I didn't need the label to tell so, me. It was so drawn out. We got the. Okay. And then we also got a dill salad, which is delicious. So we are actually going to take the leftover chicken and put it in our dill salad. And that's gonna be our little lunch. And then later this evening, we'll probably have the rest of these and then we'll make some shrimp. We'll have some shrimp tacos. This is the movie, The Edge of War on Netflix. We're gonna finish it up as we eat our lunch. It's so good. He's from 1917, that movie's also really good. Recommend. Hello and happy Sunday. It is Sunday night. I just got home from Mark's parents. It was his dad's birthday, so we had a little dinner. I was a little naughty with Sephora. This Sephora purchase was very last minute and like spring of the moment. Do I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes. But anyway, here we are. It arrived in literally a day. So this is what I went on Sephora for is to get the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic. I used this years ago and I absolutely loved it. Um, it's a self tanning bronzing mousse. I just found it so much easier to lather all over my skin when it's a mousse. I also got the mitt as well. Okay, this one was really random. I saw it on the site and I was like, I will use every single one of these products. It is the Sephora Favorites Holiday Must Haves. Although it's not the holidays, um, I just, figured like I will literally use all of these things. Comes with like, all these products and then a full size Fenty Beauty Mascara, a full size Beauty Blender, and a full size Kosas um, lip balm. I also got these like super tiny um, nail polishes. This is like a sheer and this is a top coat. And then as always, Sephora is always gonna give you samples. So I got these samples. And then they had this promo where you, if you spent a certain amount of money, I think it's like $100, um, you can get this Golden Tiger Lunar New Year themed sample pack. I was like, I get this for free? That's pretty cool. And it has all of these samples in it. I'll show you a couple of them. This one is the Clarins Total Eye Lift, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Oh, a Jo Malone cologne? Hmm. Ooh, I don't think I've ever owned anything from Jo Malone. This. This is like bougie. It smells really good. It smells like I'm expensive. Some more perfume samples, an overnight hair serum. That's cool. I love Shibamura. Their cleanser is really good, their face cleanser. Moisturizer, Sunday Riley. I think this is like a sleeping night oil. And then a Tom Ford soft matte primer. And that is what I got at Sephora. Moving on to Amazon. So these were my like random Amazon purchases. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the week. I don't think everything has arrived yet. There's some things that are arriving in like February and March. Okay, the first thing is kind of random. It's like 
a bathroom organizer. I'll put a picture here. I just thought this would be helpful to organize the bathroom. I believe I mentioned that I got the Claire's facial toner. If you have really dry skin, um, this honestly is so good. This is what it looks like. And then in this box, it's all like really boring stuff. I got a Swiffer because I don't have one and my floors are disgusting. I also got a giant shampoo. This is the shampoo that I use and I love. It's from Garnier. It's like from their honey line. That's what it looks like. It's like bigger than my head. I really wanted to try this lip oil from Sephora. So I'm just gonna open this and try it on camera for you. I'm a sucker for these Sephora value sets. Cause I just like to try a little bit of everything and see what I like without having to spend like $50 on a mascara that I don't know if I like or not. But this is what it looks like. I didn't know that Sephora sold Mac. Is that like a new thing or am I just out of the loop? I don't know. Okay, so this is what I wanted to try. It's in the shade Dip. I do like it. I like this a lot. This NARS bronzer is so cute. It's in the shade Laguna. That's what it looks like. So that has been my week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more. Give a like and a comment. I read all of the comments that I get on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, this like week in my life casual type of content. And they're really fun. I do enjoy um, being on camera again and just like hanging out and connecting with my online community. But okay. See you in my next one. <laughs>